Evening all, it's Mark here again from the Tipping Times and today I'm going to show you how to create a filter. Last night we did a video, a quick one, on how to create an export into CSV from Quick Lists. But today I'm going to show you how to create a really simple filter through Quick Stats that actually saves to your profile. When you logged into the blog so now to do this you need to make sure that you are logged in um i'm, I'm viewing this and recording this on laptop so for me it appears that i'm logged in in the top right it may vary depending on which device you're accessing it from so we've gone to the quick stats menu and we've clicked into quick stats quick stats by default gives you all the games listed down here as you can see all the game cards, etc. etc. We're not interested in them at the moment because what we're going to try and do now is build something that'll be a quick reference point to help you for specific markets that you like. Right, this is the key bar here. This will open up all your filtering options. So that's a bit of a misnomer expand filter fixtures. If you click that, you just get the previous filters that you've created. So to create a new filter, you click on this down arrow. Um, this is just going to be a simple one, guys. So let's just think of one that I haven't got at the moment. Okay. So we will do team total over 1.5. So for a team to score over 1.5 goals in the game. You've got your fixture section here. Um, I'm just going to cut this down to six months just for the purposes of this you can obviously do 12 6 3 or 1 month so one and three months if you're more interested in recent form um, i'm using six months in this example because obviously europe has just started up they're back with a new season they've not played that many games and i'm more interested in how they finished off last season and how they started this season than really what they did at the start of last year any of these that you don't know or it's not obvious you can click on the question mark and it will tell you what the filter means so type of stats to include i always tend to leave this tend being the keyword there to home versus away in current competition so it's how the home team performs at home compared to how the away team performs away And if you click on it, I'll show you the pop up. There you go. So you, you can, there you go. It's, it, it's explained there anyway. So if you're not sure of any of these filters or what they mean, just click on that and the pop up box should hopefully explain it. If it doesn't, if you're still stuck with it, drop me an email, thetippingtimes at gmail.com, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Right, so fixtures to include, this is default, I'm going to leave it as is. I want to see all the fixtures, but I don't want to see anything that's already finished. Stats are based on at least five games. That's the default, just for this filter, I'm going to have 10 games, which means I need at least five and five, minimum, or five home and five away, in that period. So obviously for newly promoted teams, when it's early season, we won't pick them up until they found their feet in that league. Um, you can do other stuff in here, but I'm not going to go into that now. This is just a simple filter. Right. Um, all percentages must be between this minimum and this maximum. So I'm just going to set this quite high. And so what I'm asking this filter to do is show me all the games upcoming where the team total goals has been over 1.5. Let's go back down here. Right, so now we need to find that market. So come down here, filter by markets. So default is everything. 
And this is your search box again, very similar to quick lists, but you can have multiple markets on quick stats, only one on quick lists. So there's nothing selected at the moment because we're including them all. So in here, I'm going to click and I'm going to type home sorry I'm going to type over have a good type wouldn't it over one there you go and so I want the away over 1.5 team goals click on it turn to green home over 1.5 team goals green don't add selected just click close because it's already selected them okay so now you can see we've got all percentages so we're looking for anything that's over 70 percent obviously up to 100 percent in the last six months where based on the home and away performance, the home or away side has scored one and a half team goals rather than a straight win market or anything like that. Don't want anything in here. Um, I'm going to say only show best markets is no. Only show selected markets above. Now, I've spoken to quite a few guys about this. A lot of guys like it to leave this as no. Personally, if I've got a filter on, I just want to show want it to show me what I'm asking it to. So I'll turn it on to yes. If you left it at no, you get all this other data coming through for those matches that met the over 1.5, 70% for the home or away team, which is fine. It's personal preference. You need to find what works for you. Only show live markets, that stays as no. Only show markets with actual odds. I'm going to leave it as show all. Um, I'm not going to restrict the competitions or anything like that, or search for a specific one this is more about display options i want to leave it as cards you can do it as cards or you can do it as a grid play, once again play around with it to see what you like and which suits your eye best this i use on all my in play filters it's an auto refresh page don't do it if you're trying to put bets on for the day because it just really annoys me um because it keeps reloading it reloads you can see here at every two minutes every one minute every three seconds really handy for in play because it gets rid of stuff okay so that's it we're done we're down to the bottom of the filter section i'm going to apply that filter think about it. done it's pretty quick once it's loaded up so now we haven't saved it okay so even though it's there team total of 1.5 we've not yet saved it so open that arrow again you can do this before you hit apply actually you can just hit save there you go there you go i'm going to save it up here and there's the confirmation that that filter has now been saved. So anytime that you log in, if you log out of Quick Starts or the blog, for want of a better phrase, when you log back in, that will be there for you. So now in this list, I'll just refresh it actually, so you can see that it's saved. I'm going to clear. So I've just cleared all, all essentially what I've asked it to display. And then once it's done that, and it does take a minute or so to do it, I'm going to go back to the top of the page, just up here. And we should see that filter saved in this list. There it is.
click on it and it slows it up immediately and there's your over 1.5 team totals that's your filter done in a couple of minutes build your filters see what works for you try different strategies if you don't like a filter you can just go up to it if you thought it was a good idea at the time and hit the delete button and you won't see it again if you want to tinker with it or change it you might say mm, 70 is not showing me enough of what i want to see so let's drop it to 60. that's now at 60 and we are going to just come up here and save it as 60. and see you get the confirmation close And now anything over 60 should show. I'm sure that wasn't there earlier, but it's there now. I'm just going to check that. Let's put it up to 70. And it's saved. Yep, it's gone. That Indonesian game is now gone. So you can see it's pretty intuitive and it's pretty responsive to create a filter and set one up. And then you've got the beauty of coming back and logging in and just clicking your filters to choose your games for the day. Or the next couple of days over a weekend, whatever. Anyway, hope that helps. That is a very, very basic filter. There's a lot more that you can do with this um, to really drill into uh, markets and opportunities that you want to try and exploit against the bookies. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is of some help. Take care, guys. It's Mark signing out.